The current crypto landscape is the absolute wild west. While there's lots of opportunity, scams and hacks are all over the place. In fact, over $4 billion in crypto was stolen from users during the year 2021. There were hacks on crypto protocols like Poly Network, Cream Finance, BadgerDAO, and a lot more. This doesn't even include the crypto that was stolen from personal wallets or the people that lost access to their funds. I personally know people who have lost tens or in one case, hundreds of thousands of dollars from making some of the mistakes I'm going to outline in this video. Just like the Wild West, there's an insane amount of opportunity available to those who are brave enough to venture into crypto land. If you want to be successful in the DeFi space, you need to be putting your own money on the blockchain and managing your own wallet. This comes with risks that the traditional finance system does not have. In the next five minutes, I'm going to give you some tools that can drastically reduce your risk of losing your crypto, as well as outline some mistakes that you should never ever make. Recently, on December 2nd at 2.05 a.m., hackers injected malicious code into the front end of BadgerDAO, a popular DeFi protocol. In order to use DeFi protocols, you have to approve the spending of your tokens. In this case, Hackers redirected users from the trusted BadgerDAO smart contract to their own malicious smart contract. Unsuspecting users thought that they were giving permission for BadgerDAO to access their tokens, but in reality, they were giving access to the hackers. Over the next two hours, over $120 million in users' funds were stolen. The sad part is that this hack was 100% preventable if the users were being more careful. There are two things that the users could have done to protect themselves. And you should try and do this whenever you interact with the smart contract. When you are interacting with any smart contract that requires access to your tokens, the first thing that you should do is check the age of that smart contract. The age of that smart contract should match the most recent protocol update. If the BadgerDAO users had checked the age of the smart contract that they were about to trust with their tokens, they would have realized that it was only 10 days old when the BadgerDAO smart contract should have been much, much older. MetaMask will show you which contract you're interacting with, so you can use a blockchain explorer to find out more information about that smart contract. I'm going to show you how to do that right now with the Aave smart contract. Okay, so here we are in Aave on Polygon. Let's go ahead and deposit some USDC. Okay, so we're in the MetaMask page now. Let's just deposit 100 bucks. Hit continue. So in order to deposit, there are two steps. First, the approval step, and then the deposit step. When you hit approve, MetaMask will pop up. Here, you need to go to full transaction details and then see which contract that the approval is granted to. Hit copy on that contract and then you can hit reject to exit that screen and then go and open Polygon Scan. Or if you're on Ethereum mainnet, you can open Etherscan. Okay, here we are on Polygon Scan. I'm going to search for that address that we're interacting with. And immediately I can see that there are over 3 million transactions. By looking under analytics, we can see the date that the smart contract was deployed. This smart contract has been deployed for over seven months and has millions of transactions, so it's probably good. The second thing that BadgerDAO users could have done to protect themselves is to set limits on the amount of crypto that the contract had access to. When you do transactions with certain types of smart contracts like decentralized exchanges, you need to provide access to the tokens in your wallet. In some cases, the default permission is to have access to all of the tokens in your wallet. While this might be okay if it's a very trusted smart contract, it's a good habit to instead set the limit to the amount of tokens that you're going to be using in that specific transaction. If you don't do this and you interact with a contract that is nefarious, not only can they take the tokens that you wanted to give them, they can take all of that token from your wallet. Let's do that with Aave now. All right, let's see how we can limit the amount of access that a contract has to our tokens. We're back here in Aave. Let's go ahead and hit approve. Now that we're in MetaMask, we can see that this is actually giving permission to access all of our USDC. We can change that by editing the permission and we can enter a custom spend limit. In this case, let's do 100 USDC. And now we can confirm that transaction. Now that we've approved 100 USDC, we can finish the deposit and then go ahead and confirm. There we go. Now we've safely deposited 100 USDC into the Aave smart contract. These steps can be annoying and add a little bit of extra time, but it's a small price to pay to keep your crypto safe. When you create a crypto wallet on an application like MetaMask, you are told to write down your recovery phrase. This is the time where some people make a huge mistake. You should never, ever, 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 ever print, screenshot, text, email, or take a picture of your recovery phrase. Printers are some of the absolute easiest devices for hackers to hack. In the past, it's been discovered that some hackers have had access to millions of printers. 
it's possible that your printer has malware on it right now and you don't even know. Pictures and screenshots, on the other hand, are often docked up by services like iCloud or Google Photos. Hackers can gain access to that by just using your email. Crypto hackers are getting more sophisticated and can use computer vision and other technologies to rapidly scan through millions of pictures and text for recovery phrases. Having any kind of digital copy of your recovery phrase makes it a million times easier for hackers to get access to it. You need to physically write down with pen and paper your recovery phrase, ideally twice. Put these pieces of paper in two different but secure locations. Don't tell anyone where these recovery phrases are, except for people that you would trust with the details to your bank account. For extra security, you can write down the words to your recovery phrase in some sort of cipher, like writing them backwards. But if you do this, make sure that you will remember what you did. Otherwise, it'll become really hard to unlock your crypto. While crypto is the wild west right now, you can dramatically decrease your chances of a hack by following some of the steps I've outlined in this video. While it's important to be knowledgeable about the certain risks, you shouldn't let that stop you from participating in this amazing new wave of decentralized finance. If you are watching this video now, you are early. You're learning about this before 99.9% .9 of the population. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and leave a comment below. If you want to be on the forefront of the DeFi wave while also supporting me as a creator, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.